Courage begins with one voice. It's that simple. I did what I had to do. That is what we know. You walk into the corridor of death and you know. You know this moment might be your last. You walk into the corridor of death and you know. You know this moment might be your last. That is what you know. I know what it is to wait in the dark for torture and what it is to wait in the dark for truth. I did what I had to do. Anything else would have tasted like ashes. If we don't do this, who will? <clears throat> My name is Desmond Tutu. For 46 years, South Africa suffered under apartheid, a system of legal racial discrimination under which the rights of the majority black citizens were curtailed and white supremacy and Afrikaner minority rule were enforced, often violently. Many of those who suffered most grievously in South Africa have been ready to forgive People you thought might be consumed by bitterness, a lust for revenge. We had a hearing at the Truth Commission, chock-a-block full of with people who had lost loved ones, massacred. Four officers came up, one white, three black. The white said, we gave the orders for the show soldiers to open fire. <clears throat> In this room, where the tension could be cut with a knife, it was so palpable. Then he turned to the audience and said, please forgive us. And please receive these, my colleagues, back into your community. And that very angry audience broke out in quite a deafening applause. And I said, oh, no, 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 let's keep quiet because we are in the presence of something holy. I did what I had to do. Anything else would have tasted like ashes. It would have been living a lie. I could have been part of the struggle in a less prominent position, but God took but God took me, as they say, by the scruff of the neck, like Jeremiah. I have a God who doesn't say, ah, I got you. No, God says, get up. And God dusts us off. And God says, try again. God says, try again. <laughs>